Hey everyone, this is James from Brewing Books. So, back in October of this year, this Tolkien Deluxe Edition hit the bookshelves. If you're not familiar with Robert Foster's The Complete Guide to Middle-earth, then you should be. It's perhaps one of the most indispensable books you'll ever need. This handy volume is perfect for anyone looking to discover more about Tolkien's works in an easy and accessible way. Remember the good old encyclopedia books before the internet took over? Well, this is one such book. Chronicling all terms, character names, events, locations and creatures from A to Z in Tolkien's world, this mammoth of a book makes referencing so much easier. Whether you're writing a Tolkien paper on the Silmarillion, looking up some obscure reference mentioned in passing in The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, or simply just enjoying sifting through this book looking up names to brush up your Tolkien knowledge. Now, various editions of this book were available, but this year saw the republication in both standard and deluxe editions. And today, we're taking a look at this deluxe edition. First of all, this is a perfect match to go alongside all the other Tolkien slipcase hardbacks deluxe editions that have been released in recent years. In fact, we have Ted Nesmith's artwork adorning the slipcase all around here, entitled First Sight of Ethelion. And as we pull out the book from its slipcase, we find this gorgeous green-colored fully cloth-bound hardback with the usual gold foil titles on the front and spine here. And of course we have Nesmith's illustration of the Pillars of the Kings. Just for you to note, this has a worldwide first printing of just 7,000 copies, so grab this fast. Now, this is the first time this particular book has ever been released in deluxe format and is fully illustrated in color throughout by Nesmith himself. Opening the book, we find this exclusive color foldout poster of Entering Mirkwood. As with any of the other deluxe editions reviewed before, this is printed in high quality acid free paper with second to none reproduction quality and sewn binding. And of course, our ribbon marker. The contents inside is virtually the same as with all other editions, including the artwork, except for some that have been included exclusively for this edition. Now, besides the A to Z references, the book provides several genealogical tables and quite an impressive chronology of the first age. Not only that, I mean, Nesmith's illustrations are just so vibrant in colors and simply stunning to look at. I honestly thought long whether or not I should go for this purchase. I already own the 2003 hardback edition of this book, so I wasn't sure it was actually necessary. However, upon further thinking, given the ever-increasing output of deluxe editions, I just had to get this to add to my collection. So, if you're looking for a trusted encyclopedia that will widen and enhance your experience of Tolkien's works, Foster's Guide is the ultimate book for such purpose. On a side note, if you're looking to purchase this book precisely as a reference point and for research purposes, then I would suggest going just for the standard edition. Pick this deluxe edition only if you want to complete your Tolkien Deluxe Collection set. Other than that, as I've already said, this is a fantastic book and will appeal to all Tolkien readers and is a really handy volume to have when you're reading through your Silmarillion, Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.